What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install use case specific portable copies of OBS onto your computer that you can use for a ton of different reasons. You can have one specifically for streaming, one specifically for uh, recording your webcam, one specifically for uh, recording videos, and all with their own custom settings. Uh, this is not scenes, this is a complete custom uh, version of OBS that can have its own plugins and uh, scenes and options installed. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. Thank you so much for being channel members. If you want to support the channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. All right, so on to the video itself. The first thing we want to do is of course, download OBS. So let's go ahead and go to the download page. You're going to choose Windows and you're going to download the zip file, not the installer of OBS. And that will download into its own uh, compressed folder. We're going to go ahead and open that. Now, here is the uh, download of OBS Studio 30. So let's go ahead and extract this into its own folder and that will take a bit of time. Now, once that's complete, we can close the compressed folder because we don't need that anymore. And what we do need is this folder here. So let's say we want to set up the initial OBS for the first time. Uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, make a portable version of it. So uh, that's really easy. All we need to do is right click, go to new and choose text document. And we're just going to type in portable underscore mode and leave it as is. To test this, we can go to the bin folder 64 bit and open up obs64.exe and you'll see that there's an automatic configuration wizard because this is the first time we've run obs even if you have obs installed similarly you can see on top it says portable mode on this copy of obs so you would just uh, go through and configure this as needed and then you can even add uh, specific scenes uh, to start off with that you want all of your uh, other copies of obs to have and they'll all be copied over as well once you have it set up as you'd like for the uh, first one at least we're just going to click on exit we're going to right click on obs 64 and create a shortcut to do so we're just going to go to show more options and create shortcut now that there's a shortcut here let's go ahead and copy that by choosing cut from the menu heading back to the main folder and pasting it here so now there's a very easy to access shortcut, which we can even name OBS. And whenever we open this, it's going to open that specific um, executable so we don't have to do that again. Now, let's say we want, uh, let's say this is our version that we use for recording 4K for YouTube. And it's kind of a pain to have to switch it to uh, 1080p when you're streaming. So all we have to do is uh, let's create a folder here and say this is going to be our YouTube OBS. And then we're gonna make another one and say this is going to be our Twitch OBS. That way for YouTube, we can have our really high bit rates, our 4K recording, all that good stuff. And for Twitch, we can have 1080p 60 and then uh, a specific bit rate like 7,000 or 7,500. Uh, so now that we have the two folders, Let's go ahead and copy everything except for that shortcut. So we're going to copy and we're just going to paste it into the YouTube folder and paste it into the Twitch OBS folder. Now we have two separate portable copies of OBS. We just need to create the shortcut for those as well. So let's go into the bin 64 bit, scroll down to OBS and create a shortcut. We're going to show more options and create shortcut. We're going to cut this shortcut and paste it here and rename it OBS. Now we're gonna go into the bin folder of the other one and do the same thing. We're gonna right click, show more options, create shortcut, cut that shortcut and paste it here and name it OBS. So now we have a YouTube OBS and Twitch OBS and if we open them and make a change, for example, let's rename this YouTube and then we can open up the Twitch one. And you'll notice that the Twitch one still says scene. So we can rename this one Twitch and make any adjustments we need. And if we close it and open up the YouTube OBS, it'll say YouTube. If we open up the Twitch OBS, it will say Twitch. These can run at the same time as well. You can be recording from one OBS, streaming from another OBS, 
um, all that good stuff. It's super, super useful. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. Down in that virtual lab. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect.